Right, here we go. How do I make my propellers? A lot of people have asked me, who have viewed my videos on YouTube, on uh, how do I make my propellers for my whirly gigs. Well, to start with, uh, this was purely a hobby, and I was just going to make one off for the family and for anybody. But lately now, I've been asked to make so many, so I've had to look a way of making the propellers quicker, cheaper, and more, 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 what can I say, aesthetically, no, better looking, shall we use that word? Anyway, this is the, uh, the first propeller I made, there we go, look at it. I had a big think about it because I didn't know, um, you know, what angles to put the to put them here, yeah, the blades on with reference to the hub. So this is the first one. As you can see, it's just a square hub. And what I decided to do was to uh, make the propeller out of solid wood, which I cut down with a uh, with a. Uh... Sorry about this. We we'll start again. Yep. Great with my bandsaw. That's it, bandsaw. Put them into a piece of dowel rod like this, as you can see, and then we drilled some uh, holes into the, uh, oh, put those in there, which allowed me to to twist the, uh, the blades around so I could work out the best speed. And this was, this was quite a good way of doing it. And the first two or three I actually made this way, and they worked very successfully. They've been in the garden on some of my old whirly gigs, spinning around quite happily. But as I've been asked to make loads of whirly gigs now, or more, and uh, we actually do sell them on YouTube, not YouTube, eBay, sell them on eBay, I had to find a quicker and better way of doing it. So, originally, I would start with a block of wood, uh, similar to... Uh, if I can find it up, yeah, similar to uh, similar, similar to this, nice, nice block of wood, an old piece of wood like that. Uh, then I would cut it down. Uh, originally, as you can see, I, I did them at an angle, the blades at an angle, uh, and then I would then put them on the bandsaw and just take a a slice off. Like that, which was I thought quite good. It took ages to do, but the biggest problem was as soon as the the bandsaw blade got a little bit uh, blunt, or I did, you used to get all these edges on it. I don't know if you can see that on the on the camera. Yeah, yeah, I can, and if you can, can you see the edges? And I was spending hours, not hours, but a lot of time sanding them down so I could get them, you know, respectable. This one here, you can see, I actually tried to cut it on the. Uh, table saw. Good. But then I found out that you couldn't, it was very hard to get the same thickness of the blades. So I gave that up as a bad job. As you can see I still have all my practice bits here. Never throw them away. Never throw anything away. Well, I thought, well what else could I use for blades apart from wood? So I went over and decided to use Perspex plastic, I don't know what plastic it is, Perspex, uh, which was very good, nice and solid, I didn't need no painting I thought, but then to actually source this and uh, make it viable, it, it just didn't work because you, know, you couldn't get this up, you know, my, my thing is to reuse, recycle and upcycle old bits and I just couldn't get enough, so I went away from that plastic and decided Let's try something different. Why is there a lot out there? And at the time, I managed to get hold of myself a lot of old guttering. So I decided to try and make a blade out of guttering. And, and, and this is it. Very good. Cut it out. Again, no painting. Uh, make a hub, put it on there. But problem being, weight. Yes, the weight was the problem. And though it did work quite well, it needed quite a bit of wind to turn it round. And it got away from my thing of making with wood. So we, we gave that idea up. As you can see, we do practice a lot. 
So then I decided that uh, instead of using uh, pieces of wood, I'd use some plyboard or plywood. Uh, this is this is the the, the 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 type of stuff. It's a it's a thin three millimeter plywood. So we managed to get hold of, of, of some plywood. I haven't got any head shapes, so I've cut it all up. In the meantime, I did try it with some hardwood, but or hardboard. Don't. Not a good idea. It blows. So what we did then was I'd managed to get hold of some three mil exterior plyboard, which is what this is here, and the. Uh, Gentleman at the wood suppliers cut, cut it to be, cut it for me into uh, I think 60 60 millimeter yeah yeah 60 there thicknesses and as you can see now I've gone away from the uh, chamfered edge just one cut one on so what we did was then we cut them into uh, long bits so they were 60 by I can't tell you where's my other tape measure got one here somewhere. We go uh, 60 by no, it's seven and three quarters. See, so I'm using one width is in millimeters, length I'm using in inches, uh, 20 centimeters. There we go. That's better. Let's try and keep it all standard. So therefore, we then cut these into uh, 60 by 20 pieces of wood. Tape them together like that. And then we, you know, got our master, drew round it, and we cut them out into blocks of, I think these are 12, 2, 4, 6, yeah, three blades, 12. So there's 12 there. Uh, and out of one sheet of wood, uh, which I think cost me about, I think, 20, 25 UK pounds, I don't know what it is in dollars and euros, I'm sure you can work it out. And then, you know, I just made up. And out of one one sheet, I managed to get 60 blades. So 60 blades, 25 pounds. I thought, well, that's 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 quite adequate, which is uh, which was good. Next, what did we do next? Yo, well, then we got to work out on hubs. What I'll do is I'll show you the finished product, and then at the end of the video, I will actually make a hub for you, so you can see how I do it. Uh, we did. In the meantime, uh, we did build a an aeroplane, a Spitfire, for somebody. So we actually made uh, little uh, propeller blades. Again, this was done by cutting it out of uh, a solid piece of wood. And as you can see, you get all different thicknesses. And it, 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 no. So I think I've decided unless you know, I invest in a a very good bandsaw is that I'm going to have to carry on with plies, plywood. Not only did we do uh, propeller blades, but we also did uh, yeah, for the for the spinners, you know, bird blade. Again, as you can see, very thin. This was the, the, the big piece that we, we took all the, you know, the, the uh, slices off like that. But again, to get the cut was awkward. Right, so let's show you what we then did. Right, we are uh, the hubs. Let's show you a, a selection of hubs. I, I, I started with a, uh, a sheet of wood, and a nice tight grain so it doesn't split. Uh, what I did use was uh, things like this, pieces of old shelving. Uh, which you can pick up from the scrap merchants. Always, there's always items laying around. And we 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 cut these into I think 60 by 60 squares. Is this a 60 60 by 60? Yeah, 60 by 60 squares, like that. Hole in the middle. We then uh, took the circle out to get the hub and again I will show you this at the end 
we'll just run through it quickly. So we then finished up with the hub. Uh, we then cut this, this, the slots in like that. And lo and behold, when you get uh, your blades, hopefully they will uh, the, you know, you know, fit into the hub. There we go, look at that, that's even quite a good fit, there's no glue. Obviously we glue them in, and I do drill a little hole there and put a screw in. I can show you what I, I prefer screws in the dowel. Uh, yeah, these are, it, it, you know, here's, here, there's one that I made earlier in blue, and as you can see we've got uh, screws in there. Uh, and that is it's quite light. Uh, yeah, it's just it's only had one coat of paint on it. Needs another coat of paint. We do them. Uh, another one very similar. That's a, that's the red one. Whatever colour you want. I'm thinking of just standardising the colours. Right. So what I'm going to do now is switch down for a few minutes and we go over and see if we can show you how we do actually make the hubs. Right, so we're over to the uh, the bandsaw now and uh, we're going to cut the hub out with a square piece of wood. So what I've made up is a, is a jig as you can see, very professional job, cost an absolute fortune and it just lays on the bed like that, perfectly square. We then take our, our square hub and we lay our hub onto the screw and it, as you can see it goes right up to the blade. We put the, uh, the blade, whatever it's called, I don't know. Can that, will that go underneath it? No, not quite. So we'll just lift that up just slightly. There we go. That is it. Right. Okay. Well, we're going to put the uh, bandsaw on there. Obviously, it make a bit of noise. There we There is our, our hub, so we'd now take this over to the uh, sander and we'll just straighten the hub up.
so there we go there we have one uh, one hub all we've now got to do is just put the slots in ready for the uh, for the blades and uh, we'll show you how to do that next so here we have the uh, the blank hub that we've just made as you can see uh, we'll just check the thickness of it it's 22 I'm thinking of going up to 25 this was the uh, thickness of my original ones which were only 17 but I used this one as my master to tell me where to put the uh, the slots in so all you do is just line it up like that take a pencil and very carefully just mark where you want to put it in like that very accurate as you can see to the nearest so far there we go wonderful so that's that done right then we come to the interesting bit the, the jig that goes on the bandsaw everybody's bandsaw was different this is the way I made it I've done it at 45 degrees the the angle for the blades and what it means taking is taking the uh, the blank putting it on the screw there I, 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 as you can see I, I do tend to like a nice tight fit I don't particularly want it that tight <laughs> anyway let's just uh, 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 there's always two ways to do something isn't there and uh, in my case I always do it the wrong way we'll just uh, take that off Go over to the drill. Uh, there we go, that's far better. Yeah, so here we go again. So this is the jig that I, that I made. Uh, it is just the angle bit from the thing. We put the angle at 45 degrees. I've bolted a piece of wood on, put a, a put a nut through there with a line on it. We're using that line I found as the best line at the moment. And then we take our take our hub, place it on there. Use my homemade wing nut, which goes on like that. Okay. And we just line that up. Then what we're going to do is now we're going to take this over to the bandsaw. Uh, bandsaw. The table saw slide it up and down when we slide it up and down we just move that round to the next point each time another slide to the next point another slide and so forth so we'll go over to the bands uh, the table saw and we'll do that now well we're outside now the table saw. Now, regarding the blade height, uh, I cheat. I, I just use an old one, an old hub. Well, it's not an old one, it's one I made earlier. I lay the blade on it and then I just raise the blade up until, uh, yeah, until it's about the right height. I think that's about it there. Let's just give it a bit more. Okay, so that's the blade up. We then place the, uh, the slider in and then what we're going to do is just slide it up and down. So we, we line our, the lines we put on earlier, I don't know if we can see that with the camera, we, we, we line it up to there and there, okay. Air muffs on, let's start the
remembering always to lower the blade when you finished working. A, you don't damage the blade, and also if it ever started up accidentally, it's out of hunt. And so here we are with the hub already made. Let's go inside and uh, fit the blades onto it, shall we? So we're back in the workshop now with the, the hub. So we went from a square block to a round hub to one with grooves in it. And this is the one we've just made. So let's get some uh, blades and see if they fit, shall we? It's always a good sign if they do, isn't it? There's number one in. There's number two. Number three. And number four. So there we go. There is our finished hub. I don't think you need me to show you how to glue it, but we do we do use a wood glue. We uh, stick stick them in with a wood adhesive, and I also do uh, get a few holes in. I'll show you what I mean with the blades we done before. As you can see, what we do we we glue them in like that, and then I put four pilot holes and put four little screws in there and they they're, they're, they're quite solid and again they they work very well they're very light and you will find out that uh, this is the best way I found of making uh, blades for whirly gigs if you know of a better way then please let me know because uh, I've now started doing these not as professional because I'm retired I don't do now I maybe make two whirly gigs a week to order uh, we have a, we have a, a few in stock and we do sell them on uh, on eBay uh, if you want I can show you uh, a few this